Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, Thursday. Thursday. It's Farm Talk Friday on a Thursday. It is July 21st, 2022. I'm Ken Jordan. This is my beautiful wife, Giovanna. And we're shooting a day early this week because uh, we're heading out of town tomorrow. So uh, how was your day? Great. Fantastic. We have uh, a guest in the studio today. Anastasia. Hi, she's, Anastasia. She's off to the side. How was Gigi? How was Gigi? <laughs> hi, hi. How was Gigi? She loved it. She There's loved a it. new, really cool restaurant, Boutique Hotel, probably. Yeah. Over. In Malpais, which is a sister community on the beach. Uh-huh. And uh, we went there recently for dinner. It was great. And I guess you went there for lunch today? We sure did. Yeah, it was great. Had the same waiter. All right. So... <laughs> Okay, so um, our chickens back there uh, are adjusting the hens. Now yes. we can refer to them as the girls because they're all girls. They're all girls now. They're adjusting to no rooster, no rick. Um, it's a little quiet, quieter here. It's peaceful here. But I never minded Rick's cockle doodle doing. I miss uh, it. Yeah, and our bedroom is like very quiet, so it never bothered us uh, while sleeping or anything like that. No, the guys it, always said he was very happy. Yeah, that's why he was doing and it, it kinda, all day long. And it kind of always hey, let James. it kind of always let you know let you know that you were living on a farm. You know, <laughs> the sound yeah. of a rooster, which was nice. But uh, but he attacked two people, three. Oh yeah. On Friday. Well, we're just gonna say he's not here anymore. He's not here so anymore. anyway. But uh, I will have a picture. I've been putting flowers at his rooster house as a memorial to Rick. Yeah. And he did come to me in a meditation. It was very nice. Yeah. Um, in rooster form, so he had no English words to tell me, but he just was like, hey, it's cool. <laughs> cool. Great. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of dreary back there. Hi, um, We've got opposite seasons here in Costa Rica so uh, you're all enjoying or sweating through summer back in the States we are in the middle of rainy season here and you know it never gets cold here we I mean we really have two seasons we have wet and dry dry summer and rainy summer basically yeah, so we're in rainy summer we're in the rainy summer right now and um, yeah, so it's really nice. It mostly only rains at night. We got some day rain today, mm -hmm. but uh, and the sun normally comes out, but it's having a hard time today. Yeah, so that's your report on weather. That's my report. Okay. On <laughs> <laughs> so we got surprised by a new fruit. I mean, it's not a new fruit. It was new to new well, to it our seemed farm. Very new. So uh, it's a little guy. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, it's a loquat. No, you told them. Oh, here they call them a nispero. Ni nispero japonesa. Well, it's just a nispero. No, no, there's two. They're, they have nisperos and then nispero japonesa. Oh, so this is the nispero japonesa. This must be a Japanese loquat. Yeah. So anyway, we're familiar with them because we had a, a loquat tree uh, at our other house in Encino back in Los Angeles. And we're super excited to get more of them and enjoy them. Right now, we just have a few that aren't in very good shape. But I ate one. It was it was really good. <laughs> it reminded me of the, the old tree. the old house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we've been getting uh, breadfruit pretty regularly. Yeah, I think we've had two. Yeah, we've had two. Yeah, but we have six more on the tree. So yeah, that's exciting. And we're experimenting with them. We're, we've only been going with like the baked sweet bread technique so far. Right. So the breadfruit, uh, it is like bread. If you wait until it's ripe, then it's sweet enough where it tastes kind of like banana bread all by itself. And yeah. you just bake it at 350. Yeah, all by it itself. Has a jam Not, like, like nothing in it. Just pull it apart and bake it. It's amazing. Yeah, we have been eating it with butter. But oh. it's good all by itself too. Well, with melt butter. Yeah. But um, it's probably good with ghee. It's probably great with butter, but I can't have butter. Oh, someone's like, Eric likes your 808 shirt. 
Aha, good call on it. <laughs> and I hope, yes, we want your recipe. Uh, here's some uh, arugula I just picked. There's actually a couple of, um, uh, what are these called? That is um, cilantro. Cilantro. It's, uh, this is culantro. like culantro. This is like jungle cilantro. Uh, it grows wild. Bigger, bigger leaves. I don't know if they're called leaves. Um, yeah, and they're spiky. They have. Um, do you have another one? You just ate the last one. No. There's two. You see. Yeah. Okay. It's spiky. So, yeah, it's spiky on the edges. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Well, I do. So if you eat it. You can get like stuck in your throat. <laughs> you have to chew it really good. And you know what? Uh, your your like or dislike of cilantro is in your genes. It's, oh, in, yeah. it's in your DNA. You either like it or you think it tastes like soap. Yeah. And it's like based Scott. it's based on your DNA. My partner in the Crystal Method, Scott, absolutely hates cilantro. And he loves he Mexican loves food. Loves Mexican food, so he's always trying to get no cilantro in his Mexican food. Um, but anyway, this is um, our arugula, and it's fantastic. And because I just cut it, we're gonna have to eat it tonight. tonight. That's right. Yes. Perfect to eat while live. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what else you got? Then? Well, we have a you? we have a big pan full of absolutely delicious maracuya, which is uh, passion fruit. Uh, we've just been getting so many, and we're we're it matches our chair. And we don't have too much. I'm finding ways to use all of it. <laughs> so yeah, Ken has been making. Uh, ice cubes out of them. Yes. And so that's kind of fun. It makes your drinks kind of fancy. And then also just pouring it, just a couple of spoons full in any drink at all. Tastes great. Yeah, Ken's really, really into the market. Okay, next week we're gonna demo just cutting it open and, and, and like getting the stuff out. Yeah, some people are not used to them. And yeah. So it's quite exciting. So yeah, so we're done with the arugula talk. Um, what do I want to talk about now? How about the screaming child bird? <laughs> right. Well, this morning, I mean, it's it's interesting because I feel like we've heard, we've been here now six years full time. And I feel like we've heard kind of everything around here. But this morning there was this sound from a bird. I'm sure it was a bird. But it sounded like a screaming child. And I know it wasn't because it would be like a parody on a screaming child. Yeah, no, I heard it. It was <laughs> clearly flying animal life, but it really did sound like a screaming, annoying child. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a little thing. Oh. Right. In your teeth, on your teeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it. From, from the, from the cilantro. cilantro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I thought that was very interesting, and I think last episode or, or the one before that my mom uh she stayed here for a month and we have the chakalakas or the whatever we call them we call them chakalakas that's not their name anyway they sound very interesting and she thought our chickens were being attacked and, uh, and i'm like okay yeah and they're very loud and so this morning i mean you know if you didn't know any better and it was your first time in the jungle you might really think that was a child that was having a difficult experience. Never know. But like I said, it was not a child. Uh, they made normal bird sounds right after the sound, but it was it was like a parody of a of a screaming child. It's very interesting. Uh, and then yeah, this morning I we've been getting up like the last two mornings at four thirty so that Ken could do like a 6.30 swim lesson, right? That's why we're getting up at 4.30. Sort of, also to acclimate myself to Kansas time. Oh, right, because yeah, <laughs> Ken's doing a triathlon on his birthday in Kansas in a few weeks here. Yeah. So, um, and I, I'm, I'm into it. I'm, I'm like, yeah, let's wake up early because then I get to go outside and do some work. So here I am and out in our garden. see the moon. Yeah, we get to see the moon and, and like Venus and stars that are still there. Anyway, I'm outdoors 
when the, you know, when the light was coming out a little bit, cutting things up, I see a vine and it's in our main garden and, you know, vines grow everywhere here. Like they're growing on trees. They, they just, they're, they're like a weed and they're all different kinds of vines. And there was a thought in my mind of, well, maybe this vine we're growing because it's in our garden. But I was like, no, but it looks like a weed vine. And so I pulled it and then out popped a uh, jicama. <laughs> I was like, oh no. How big was it? It was, it was oh, not that small. big. Yeah. So, I mean, we can eat it and we're going to eat it tonight with our arugula. But if I had left it in the ground, we would have gotten something like this big. And I've made Farm Talk Friday advertisements with like, there was like one where I'm holding the jicama and it was like the size of my head. So it was a little disappointing. Um, the accidental hickam. The accidental hickam, yeah. <laughs> and then overall, I just I'm I'm really excited about uh, you know the abundance that is coming in. Uh, Katuk just it's everywhere. It's super exciting. I really wanted food security here, and so I've worked really hard the last few seasons to. Um, I mean, we could just like go buy everything, and we have bought lots of things, but. I, I like the idea of taking what you have, um, you know, of course we bought it initially, but then like propagating it. So I'm patiently waiting all year long for these plants to get bigger so that the next season I can cut them back and then put sticks in the ground and wait for them to grow. And it's been really satisfying. So I've done that with um, Chica Skill, the Chaya, uh, the Katuk, and the mora, the blackberries, um, or I'm sorry, they're mulberries, right? Mulberries. Yeah, just like putting those everywhere and it's like, we're just gonna have so much food. So um, it's been, yeah, it's been exciting to see that. And our black pepper, we're gonna have so much black pepper here soon. Yeah, so. we have to get it. We used to wait till the black pepper turned black. That is a mistake. Yeah, so we might need to harvest some yeah. right now. You're supposed to get it before it turns black and then you Try it or and roast then you it, and it turns it. black. Right. Yeah, and if it turns black, it's like too late. If, if it turns black on the vine, it's too late. But it's not too late, like you can't eat it, it's unedible, it's that you wouldn't be able to sell it as black pepper. Like you would have an inferior oh. commercial product, but well, we're not commercial farmers. We're not selling anything, so we're We're fine. just trying to inspire you <laughs> to maybe have a relationship with plants and get out to the land and, and do something for yourself as well, so. Hey, it's Oscar! Woo! Good to hey, see Oscar. you! So, uh, what's, he, what's Oscar saying? There is an animal in Spanish, Pavo Real. Yes, it, that is that. And, um, and so here they call them uh, chacalacas or cucaracha. Not cucaracha. No, I think I've heard that term before, Pavo Real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oscar knows. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, my mom said our chickens were being attacked because they were making their sounds and they do, they sound kind of crazy and they're super loud. So anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad you knew what we were talking about, Oscar. Uh, yes, Hope, you have never been down to see the farm. You've only seen the beach house, so we would love to have you down. And hi, Ben. Great to see you. It's been a long time. Anyway, well... That is wrapping up our show. Ben, you're gonna have to like hit rewind and, <laughs> and watch the rest of it or not. Uh, or join us next week, which should be on a Friday. That's right. Like normal, Farm Talk Friday. We will be Friday. back a week from tomorrow on Farm Talk Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, okay. Ciao everyone, have a great weekend.